Tonight is about celebrating the accomplishments and the failures that have led us to resilience. When I first came to Stanford, my passion was strong. But I see looking back, I could not be more wrong. But I'm not just scared, I'm unprepared. I am the girl with no direction. I made no friends by acting like I was too cool for dorm meetings and freshman events that Cardinal Council put on. I stuck close to my team and other athletes because it was the easy choice. And now he's lying here awake, having almost thrown it all away, and he's still wondering if he made the wrong choice. It didn't take me long to label my decision a failure. In my mind's reality, I had failed to handle the changes of a new place, populated with new people and new experiences. It was that day I decided I would never let anything so mortifying happen to me again. I began to see my failure as something I needed, as something I hadn't been able to ask for myself. My failure offered me a break, a chance to put down the textbooks and scrape my knees on new experiences. But the thing about charting a new course after a fall is you start to realize that underneath it all, you were preparing yourself all along, and those charts, those maps, even the stars, you wrote them all. It has made me more empathetic and not only wanting to hear how different someone's day has gone, but wanting to get to know what's bothering them at the core and how their day is really going. I was in a state that I could not endure. I had to admit the way things truly were. My work was important, but never would cease. If life is a puzzle, the school is just one piece. A medal, a title, and a trophy do not define your worth. Your attitude does. Because there is no going back but there is always a way forward. We are not the summation of our failures. We are the choices we make in spite of them.